Welcome to the channel, More Dirt, More Distance. I've really been thinking about how I want to power accessories on the Gladiator when I'm going out off-roading and doing camping. Uh, I consider a lot of different options. There's the portable power packs and those definitely have their benefits. They can hold a lot of power, charge a lot of things, which is great. But I wanted something that was going to be a good foundation for the Gladiator that can build upon. Uh, not something that I could forget at home or was going to take up space in the vehicle. Uh, so I started going towards solar power and I found a company called Cascadia 4x4. Uh, I believe they're out of Canada. And they have a solar power unit that actually goes on to the hood of the vehicle, which I thought was nice. That way I don't have to put anything up on the roof because I like taking off the freedom panels and. Uh, I may put a roof rack up there in the future, so I didn't want to have panels on the roof. So the hood just made sense to me. And uh, they claim that the panels are very well made and rugged and they can stand up to the snow, the ice, the rocks, and the mud, uh, which is great. A few other items that I really liked when I was looking into the solar panels is that it has an emergency start uh, feature. So if you accidentally drain the battery at night, um, once the sun comes out, about 30 minutes or so, you can charge the battery enough up so you can get it started and going, which is great. Now there are two different models. So I have the Gladiator Sport and that comes, that, that panel is larger and has 80 watts. For the Rubicon, their hood is different. So that solar panel is smaller and 30 watts. I didn't want anything too complicated, so hopefully this is gonna be a nice simple way to power my accessories on the Gladiator. Let's go ahead and get this installation started. At the end, I'll give a review of how the installation went and my feelings about the product overall. The hood needs to be completely clean. There can't be any dirt, dust, or dried up bugs. Give it a nice soapy bath. Dry off the hood and admire that shine. Wipe the hood down with alcohol to remove any leftover residue. Spray the hood with a mixture of soap and water. It's time to apply the vinyl base sheet. The instructions say this is a two-person job, but one person can do it. I vinyl wrapped my Evo 8 Solo, so this was a piece of cake. The vinyl base sheet protects your paint from contact with the solar panel. The sheet comes rolled up, so flatten it underneath the solar panel box. The key to successfully applying the base sheet is a lot of soapy water. The water allows you to move and handle the vinyl easily. Use the windshield washer nozzle cutout as a guide when centering the sheet. The actual panel extends 30 millimeters past the sheet, so leave about an inch and a half between the sheet and the edge of the hood. Using the provided squeegee card, gently run the card along the vinyl to start removing the water from underneath the vinyl. Repeat this process but the next time, use more pressure. Gently go over the vinyl with a heat gun and squeegee to remove any remaining air pockets. Go over the vinyl one last time with only the heat gun. Make sure there is no water underneath the vinyl. Wipe down the hood and vinyl with alcohol. You need to test fit the panel on the hood. Be careful not to bend it. Use the windshield wiper nozzles to help center the panel but make sure to leave enough room for the spray holes. 
Remove the panel and apply the provided adhesion promoter to the edge of the vinyl, approximately an inch and a half around the edge. Let it dry for five minutes. Peel back a one inch piece of the red backing tape and fold it so it sticks out. Place the panel back on the hood and when you're happy with the placement, pull the tape. Gently press the panel edges down. Run your hand along the edge of the panel for 10 minutes. The edge of the panel should conform perfectly to the hood. Use the alcohol to wipe away any excess residue. The panel is installed, now it's time to wire it up. Pull the wire through the gap between the hood and the body. The manufacturer recommends placing the charge controller on the air box, but you can mount it anywhere that is away from excessive heat. The charge controller regulates how much energy from the panel is dispersed to the battery. Remove the backing off the tape and place the charge controller on your chosen location. Use the provided zip tie mounts and zip ties to secure the wire to the hood. This is the MC4 connectors that connect the panel to the charge controller. The accessory wires let you connect an accessory directly to the charge controller. This is the positive and negative battery connectors. Connect the panel to the controller. Connect the charge controller to the battery. We got power. Now just gotta take it out into the sun and see if it works. The blinking light means it's charging. That installation went really well. It was nice and easy and straightforward. The unit really is plug and play which I really do like. The instructions were great, probably the best instructions I've had through the whole process of working on my Gladiator. There's plenty of pictures and the explanations are well written and easy to understand. It doesn't leave you wondering what you're supposed to do next, so that was great. I like the way it looks because I'm going for kind of a tough, purpose-built look with my Gladiator. Before I give a review on an item, I usually like to try it out for at least a few days before I tell you how I feel about it. And this is kind of one of those things that um, I'm gonna need some time to see how it really holds up. But as far as the installation, that was really easy, recommend. Uh, I'll probably provide an update in the comments or maybe do a follow-up video later on in the summer to see really how, does it hold up really? Does it you know keep my battery going? Uh, so keep an eye out for that. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss my next installation.